For nearly um, 18 months, the guys in the factory here in North Yorkshire have been working on this. This is the LT1 General Motors crate engine with a, um, an eight-speed auto sat behind it. Where with our previous uh, V8 conversion, the, the first vehicle we built was totally and utterly unique to us. But there were elements of the vehicle that we just couldn't replicate easily. So having developed and developed and developed, we finished up with an amalgamation of some parts that were available from the shelf, some that we developed, and then the usual twisted tweaks that we make along the way. What I wanted to achieve from this, the new LT engine, was something that was entirely twisted developed. I wanted us to control the manufacture, the design, the development, the testing of all elements. Having had 18 months and huge expense, this is my first real drive of this vehicle. So what we're in today is a 2016 Defender 90. It was a 2.2. It was a vehicle we used as a uh, as a runaround. I gave it to the guys. They'd right, guys, soft top it, cage it. Let's have the LT in it. Let's use it as a test vehicle. The time and attention that have gone into this is insane. The guys have worked tirelessly to make this thing work how it works now. These things don't just happen. You don't just throw a big engine in, chuck a gearbox behind it, make some props, bit of wiring, a few cable ties. It, it doesn't work like that. This is months and months and months of tireless engineering and development and testing. And I hope what I'm going to illustrate right now is why that effort was all worthwhile. I'm not going to say the guys have had their head in their hands at times. There haven't been tears, but the amount of sweat, sleepless nights, the amount of effort that has been put into making this thing work is incredible. I'm so proud of the guys and what they've achieved. Sometimes with a vision, you know, you. It can run away with you. You can aim for the stars and hit the moon. Sometimes you aim for the moon and don't even get through the Earth's atmosphere. What we were aiming for here was somewhere right up there. The guys have made it happen. It is phenomenal. I cannot wait to get our customers into these vehicles. In essence, we start with the LT1, 460-ish horsepower, 460-odd torques. Great lump, much more modern, much more up-to-date. The LS, the outgoing engine, it was, production ended a few years ago. They were selling from stockpile. And um, we knew the day would come when we needed to <clears throat> transition to something more modern. And I know some people say, you know, why fit an American engine? Why not a Jaguar Land Rover engine? The reality is the first V8 Land Rover vehicle was in fact, or, or, or used in fact, an American V8. This is almost purer than the manufacturer offerings now. This really does go back to the roots of the thing. The modern manufacturer V8s are European built and um, I, I'd almost say this is more true to the roots of the Land Rover Defender than any of the other options. Every single component that makes this work has been developed in-house. Every part has been designed, developed and tested. And when you put all these together, what they've created is nothing short of incredible. It's as docile as you want it to be. It's how you'd expect a Defender to be. It just cruises along. There's a little bit of a different noise there, but it's a very easy, progressive, smooth vehicle to drive. It's not barking at you, it's not trying to bite you, it feels right. But when you let this thing go, it is absolutely mind-boggling.
There are no words for that power delivery. We're in a short wheelbase, soft top, on uh, BF Goodrich all terrain tyres. The work that's got into making this thing grip, making this thing drive like that. It's mind boggling. <laughs> unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. I'm serious about the power. And it feels like it grew there. It doesn't feel like we've shoehorned in a ridiculously big engine with ridiculous power. It literally feels like it's started as a seed and grown into position. It feels like it belongs there. That doesn't come from a quick swap out job. That comes from serious amounts of development. I'm absolutely blown away with that performance. It feels light, it feels progressive. It feels gentle, genteel. And it feels so angry as well. Mind-bendingly quick. But you, I hope you can see I'm also not fighting with it. It's not trying to kill me. It's not, it's not, it's not trying to jump out of the chassis. One of the most significant changes to the character of the vehicle come from the chassis stiffening. We now have a brace that sits in the centre of the chassis and it stops the natural twist in the chassis, or at least limits it. The chassis twist, the diffs being offset, the torque of the engine, everything wants to lift a front wheel in the air. This is so flat when you accelerate. It just propels you forward. It's like a damn spaceship. It's incredible. Even down to the function of the high and low box, the billet parts fitted on the top of the box there. They are precision, they are perfect. That works exactly how Land Rover intended it. I remember an old boy many years ago trained me in off-road driving and I, very sadly he died recently. What an absolute legend he was, 92 or 93 years old he was when he died. And I remember as a boy he was teaching me how to shift from high box to low box on the run, how to shift from high to low and low to high in an automatic vehicle and there's different techniques that works exactly how the manufacturer intended it. It feels like it belongs. The steering, the weight distribution, the braking, the suspension, the upgraded drive line, the shaft CVs, flanges, everything has been thoroughly engineered. Nothing has been left alone. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. There's still some <clears throat> fine tuning Fine tuning will evolve, you know, there'll, there'll be things that evolve through the use. Got a bit more dyno work to do. But in reality, where we are right now is by far superior to any, anything that's out there right now. It's absolutely mind-bogglingly good.